NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. all set and we are underway from Nashville Tennessee they'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone and he returns this to the 22 as they start on the ground. Oh, he's got some breathing room. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL oh, football. Ready? The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And they'll get this down here around the 47-yard line. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. They go play action with Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And the Titans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. On first down, Willis steps away to his left. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Willis looking to throw on first down. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. His first pass attempt of the game, Charles, and the pass rushers right there to hit him. But no fear, he delivered an accurate ball. Nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit, but it also sends a message to the rest of the team when he's able to take that shot and still deliver downfield. Showing a little toughness, and the team rallies around him. This could really help him on their drive. Throwing again on second down. Willis. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And they'll get this. First and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Willis' throw is on target to Burks, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Pass complete. He's got Wood streaking across the field. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 25-yard line. Penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. 
After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Play action. Willis. And brought in downfield by Burks. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17. Into the red zone, first down. Now Willis on first and 10. Caught by Woods. And it's a Titans touchdown. of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Willis going to look to throw first play. That pass taken in by Burks. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Willis on 31. Open man is Burks, and he's got him. He's going to have the first down, and more than that, down the left sideline. Traylon Burks. Touchdown, Titans. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well. Like, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Throwing his hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Bud Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. On the crossing route, complete. It's Woods. Touchdown! Robert Woods. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it to me when punting was the only decision to make and it backfired on him in a big way. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. Willis will try and throw for this. And he is in to make it 16 to nothing. I think we're sensing a trend here. Two first half touchdowns. After going for two after the first score, CD, I thought maybe they would kick the PAT here. No, they get two more. No, they decided to really press the advantage because remember, getting the two after the first score, you've already got the other team back on their heels if they're going to mount a comeback. But to go up two scores and two two point conversions, you've really got them thinking on the other sideline. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, Ready. shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Hurts. The ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. Okay, Coming ready. out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They go play action with Willis. On the move to his left. Going for it all. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't. But he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again to throw. Willis on second down. He gets this one to Burks. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Willis with it on third and one. He gets it to Burks again. And he will have a Titans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Willis wants to pass it again. On the crossing route, complete. It's Woods. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Willis rolling to his left. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Malik Willis taking it in from four yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. 
Willis to try and throw for it. Buying time to his left. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense oh, set to go. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. That sack by the DN to Nico Autry. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Baltimore Ravens. Put toe to leather, and off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jackson looking to throw right away. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Now a throw here, hauled in. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Well, show to them returning it for a pick six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Only needing two yards on second down. Second down, here's Willis. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms here going over the middle. Third down. Well, that's not the way you want to start a first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. 
got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. The third and two, here's Willis. And it's a Titans touchdown. Robert Woods, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. Steps away. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for player. They're going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They go play action with Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 41-yard line. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, they're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On first down, Willis. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. To throw again on second down. Willis. Pass complete. He's got Wood streaking across the field. And yeah, they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Willis will look to throw it. Out to his left. He's into the secondary. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Malik Willis. An 8-yard touchdown run. And the Titans go up by two touchdowns. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is in to make it 16 to nothing. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team, because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, 
there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls that work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Jackson now on second and 10. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw is Jackson. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific. because they... Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Amani Hooker. The 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, you start to feel sorry now for the young man throwing the football. This is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. All right, this is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, go yeah. back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. To throw again on second down. Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 66 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Jackson now. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Titans are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Willis back to the air on second and 10. And finding the tight end, Hooper. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Willis on third down. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. To the air on first down, here's Willis. Over the middle, it's complete. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Willis. He's got Swaim here, his tight end outright. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He's got Hooper on the short connection, and he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. From the 36, Willis. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Third down, it's Willis. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. To the air on first down, here's Willis. That pass taken in by Burks. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there's no space available and incompletion as a result. Again, Willis to throw. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. Five yards, now it's third and five. We'll need five on this play to move the sticks. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Going on fourth down, here's Willis. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Malik Willis with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Being chased out left. And make him four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive as they take over with exactly one minute to go. First play of the drive there is incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. And now here is another interception. It's Roger McCreary. thrown in this game and Charles you've got to tip your cap to this defense I mean they have been so impressive reading these passes stepping in those lanes and picking them off yeah sometimes the best offense is an excellent defense and they've done exactly that what do you think partner a season worth the highlights in just four quarters I think that's what we're seeing from this group Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteed he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his... And nowhere to run for Willis. He goes down. Tyus Bowser blowing that play up. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Complete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Fourth down, Willis. On the move to his left. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. Touchdown! Chiga Conklo as the first half is winding down. And the Titans are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things we're staring at right now the way this one is going? And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now Willis on first and ten. 
And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, this will look to throw on first down. It's complete, Burks. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Looking to throw again on second down. Willis checked down here for Henry. Able to slither by. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Willis now off play action. Rolling to his left. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Robert Woods with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans extend their lead yet again. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. set at the line for this next drive. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Andrews. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards from up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson. And this one too low. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. They go play action with Jackson. And that one going to come up short, low throw. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is... And my goodness, another interception. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Well, this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL, in high school, they were offensive stars. They touched the football all the time. It's like he said to himself, let's go back and put on the letter jacket and go get the football. How about this one? Three interceptions thus far. They're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A gain of 32 that time. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Caught on the slant. A gain of seven that time. Second. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. From the two now, second and goal. Second down, here's Willis. 
Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Robert Woods, a two-yard touchdown grab. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. Willis will try and throw for this. Steps away to his left. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Jackson to throw. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but... They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they?
the partner because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. It's a loss of seven. And now it's third down. 60 bikes, 60 bikes. Here's Willis, third and long. That's caught Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And they'll work this down inside the 30. It's a big play there for Tennessee. And even 60 yards. First down Titans. Willis looking to throw on first down. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think it's pretty evident that any blowout isn't going to be big enough for them. They're already up seven full touchdowns, and it's still not stopping them from throwing it deep downfield, taking their shots, trying to add more points. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans now facing third and long following the sack. Justin Matabike, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Now Willis on fourth down. This is caught. It's Woods. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back to throw, Willis. And they are going to score again. Yet a... It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Will 
Willis going to look to throw first play. Buying time to his left. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they've turned up to the task come and forced the on. incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Willis looking to throw it. That's to a former Bill. It's Robert Woods. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Willis to throw. He gets this one to Burks. And he's got some space here. Finding room at midfield. He's at the 30. 10, 5, touchdown Titans. Well, the underdog here showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, Let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. Willis to try and throw for it. And this is incomplete. If we had a dollar for every time we heard a team talk about explosive plays and how valuable they are, we probably wouldn't have to work very much. And we just saw a big one there. And then they tried to go explosive again, going for two. Yeah, is that a little too risky, you think? Just kick the extra point? And you know, I, I'm all about getting points, and if I feel good about my kicker, I go ahead and do that. But with that ball at the two-yard line, going for two, I think it's awfully tempting for teams nowadays. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Allen again here on second and ten. Going deep for Diggs. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Throwing on first down is Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Kevin F The NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Jake Camarda, set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Willis going to throw it right away. That pass taken in by Burks. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. 
Wilson looked to throw it. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Play fake. Here's Willis. And brought in downfield by Burks. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Protection is certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. So another try after the first down sack. Willis. Pass complete. He's got Woods streaking across the field. Willis on third and one. Forced out to his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this will get out of bounds at the two-yard line. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. Henry diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, opt to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up 8-0. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. Pass midfield, look out. 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Well, there you go. They gave up the score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And this is now a one-point game. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And for a touchdown, Titans. Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks. 77 yards. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Ready, break. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Now, Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's white. And some room to maneuver. 
And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad Wright, 81 yards. And the Buccaneers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point put through by Saka, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes it's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans, now facing third and long following the sack. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Going on fourth down, here's Willis. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off, and it'll be a turnover on downs. And running room scarce here. He's gonna be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. There he goes, left side. 20, 10, 5, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. So the Titans bring the offense back out to go for two. Willis will try and throw for this. And he is not going to be able to break free as they wrap him up right at the line of scrimmage. And the drive for two is going to come up empty. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. It's Brady. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Zach Cunningham coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second and long. 
Brady. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. So Brady and the Bucs need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That is caught, it's Chris Godwin. And he will step out of bounds all the way down at the five yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Here's White. Stops short, down at the one. Had the broken tackle but couldn't get it all the way home. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And Brady will sneak it. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. Extra point up and good by second. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. The box ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Charles, we'll see how this offense responds. Remember the last time they were out, they went for it on fourth down, did not get it, and that led to a touchdown on the other side. So they need a response here. They certainly do, and I just have a question for you. You think that was a gut feel, or was that analytics that came into play there deciding to go for it on fourth down? Well, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. They brought the house that time with a young rookie. Maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly. And that means your receivers have to understand they have to break up their routes quickly as well. Fournette once more on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Brady down to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And they are able to add on to their advantage. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point put through by Sucker, and the lead is up to eight. The Bucs ready for the kickoff, and here we go. It's in the air. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, their goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Hey. Let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Throwing on second and long. Brady looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Airing this one out for Evans. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans. 39 yards, and the Bucs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and the lead is up to 15 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And nowhere to run for Willis. He goes down. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. To try again after the sack, Willis. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. Willis throws another interception, his third of the game. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Probably the opener to start Icarus in mythology. That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Brady's throw complete to Otten. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bucs with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think the coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. White trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Touchdown! Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And the Bucs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field. 
field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing get on, get on, and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Willis back to the air on second and 10. Over the middle into the hands of Burks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Willis on first and 10. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. The second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Back to throw Willis. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. And nowhere to run for Willis. He goes down. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Willis, and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Now with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now a play fake, Brady. Out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Play action, now it's Brady. Toward the pylon, caught. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Bucs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Cannon now elects to bring this out. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. 
And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and seven, Willis. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 35. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First and 10, it's Willis. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Willis wants to pass it again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stand out targets. But oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Man open, here is Jones. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 45 yards. On play action, now Brady. This is caught. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Touchdown passes now for Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how they might do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of those guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, that uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And now here's another interception. Carlton Davis picks it. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. Extra point put through by Suckham. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
taken at the goal line. Two minutes left into this one-sided affair. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. Well, this game has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some points they can build on moments where the game plan actually work. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. That's caught Nick Westbrook Aquino with it. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To the air on first down, here's Willis. Open man, Westbrook Aquino. On the move past the 40. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Again, Willis to throw. And that's complete to Westbrook Aquino. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Back to throw Willis. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And now off to the races down the right side. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a bucket air TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. The Bucks ready for the kickoff, and here we go. It's in the air. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again.